Hey guys, and welcome back to the observatory. I've got a couple days of cloudy weather coming up and not enough clear skies where it's worth imaging or even having my scope ready to go. So I decided that I'm going to redo all of my dark libraries. And this is something I do from time to time and I've been putting it off for quite a while. So if you don't know what a dark library is, I'm gonna tell you about it right now. Uh, if you already know about it and you just wanna see how I sequence it, skip ahead in the video, but uh, Essentially what a dark library is, is it's a type of calibration frame that we are going to create, which removes some of the hot pixels and some of the read noise and some of the pattern noise that you get from your camera. And uh, you take these frames every six to 12 months and you refresh them every once in a while because the camera pattern changes over time, but overall it doesn't change enough to where it's worth doing it every time you image but it's worth taking the time to do this every six months to 12 months and create a new library of fully calibrated dark frames and this is actually going to be the first time that i'm doing it in nina and so i wanted to run through the process of taking these frames so it's, it's very simple we're just going to set up a sequence and it's going to do everything for us so here i am on nina and i'm on my imaging tab and i'm going to first cool my camera to my standard imaging temperature i use minus 10 so i'm going to turn on the cooling uh, i have my camera just sitting here on my desktop right in front of me and i'll pick it up so you can see and i just have it sitting in the bag like this where no light's going to get in and i also have a cap on the lens so no light will get in that way either this just helps protect it and i also leave the vents on the outside so cold air uh, can get in and help cool off the the heat sink because if you leave it in the bag it will actually end up heating up because the Peltier cooler doesn't do a good job of removing heat from an enclosed space it only works well creating a difference in temperature but anyways we're going to continue to cool this camera and we're going to go right into our sequencer tab and we are going to go add new target and we're just going to use the simple sequencer to create a very simple sequence right here in Nina to create a bunch of dark frames. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this to a dark here on my type of frame. And I'm going to take uh, 64 and the reason why I'm going to take 64 is because after imaging a really long time with my system I found that 64 frames seems to be about the sweet spot I could go with less like 32 or more with like 128 I tend to do the multiples of numbers just because it works out with signal to noise um, and 64 tends to be a really good spot for no noise and in any more than that I don't get any more benefit but I do see a little bit of benefit between 32 and 64 and since I have the time you know three or four days uh, where this camera can just run on its own and take these calibration frames I'm just gonna let it do that so the first one we're gonna do is one second and this is going to be for targets that are really really bright things like Orion uh, or the core of Andromeda might come in a one second exposure through luminance and it's going to default to the camera's offset and gain and we are going to change the target name to dark library 2023 let's just call it 2023 we've got enough time left in the year and we are going to copy this target over and over so I'm going to create a new one and I'm gonna create a bunch of these here now that I've created this first one. And I'm gonna adjust the time here on this next one for two seconds. And then I'm going to do a five second, a 10, a 15. Let's create a few more of these. A 30, a 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, 600, and 900. So this will cover me out to 15 minutes worth, I think, of exposure time, which is quite a lot. And I don't really need to take anything longer than 15 minute exposures. I think that's going to completely oversaturate my sensor uh, on some stars. So uh, 15 minute subs on a hyperstar, that's probably going to be overkill anyways. But I'm still going to take these calibration frames anyways. It, it's worth my time doing. So I'm going to do 64 of all of these different targets and 
Uh, I'm just going to wait for my camera to finish cooling here in a little bit. All right, so now that my camera has finished cooling, I'm going to start this sequence. It says it's going to take me about one day, 19 hours to complete all of these different frames. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to bring it into PixInsight, calibrate all these frames, and create a dark master library, which I will then bring back into Nina with the PixInsight Tools plugin so that every time I capture an image from here on out, it will always have a dark frame calibrated into it. I will then also do the same for flat frames here in the future, uh, but I don't have the time to do that right now because it's usually cloudy and I just haven't had any good weather coming up. All right, so once we're here in PixInsight, we're going to pull up weighted batch pre-processing. If you don't know how to pull that up, you just go script batch processing, weighted batch pre-processing. Takes a few seconds to fire up. Here we go. And we're gonna go right to our darks. We hit plus on the darks, and I'm just going to do the first one that I've uh, shot here. And I've got all of the one second frames, so we select all and we hit open and they're all labeled one second and i'm not going to do anything crazy i'm not going to change any settings here in PixInsight. uh everything is the way it was i just set my output directory to be uh, a place that works for me desktop i've created a folder and i put today's uh year and then month and so i'm just going to hit run uh, no bias, flat or lights, continue. So it's gonna load all of this stuff up and it's gonna do its thing. We will come back to this when it's finished. All right, and so it has finally completed the process after about a minute and 40 seconds. It was pretty fast for me. It took me about 100 seconds to do this whole thing. And so it has finally completed and I can hit done. And now I have my final photo. So if we want to pull it up and it's going to give me my rejection high it's going to give me my rejection low and here is my dark frame so once you finish capturing all of these different dark frames for all the different exposure lengths you're then going to continue bringing them into PixInsight like we did on this first one and you're going to create all these master files and then you bring it right into nina again with the PixInsight tools plugin and you save them all right there and you just tell it which ones are which and it'll know exactly how to do it and with that that is exactly how you guys take care of your darks here with PixInsight and Nina. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please do. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.